Wow! This glider doesn't have any engines or motors and yet I'm still airborne. And that's because I'm being towed through the sky by that plane just up there. The reason I brought you up here is that some believe that this very principle, aero towing, could hold the secret to dramatically extending the range of electric planes. See, startup Magpie Aviation believed that you could use a string of electric aircraft to aero tow a passenger aircraft, allowing it to be pulled through the skies without it using up any energy. Kinda like this. That's the idea anyway, but right now, it's not quite there yet. So we're going to look at where Magpie Aviation is now, where it wants to be, and what it intends to do to get there. But let's start with where the company wants to be. The idea is a passenger aircraft would take off under its own propulsion and climb. So far, so normal. But once it reaches three to 5,000 feet, it would be joined by a battery plane carrying no passengers, only batteries. Here's Magpie CTO, Andy Gessling. You have to somehow get energy up to the aircraft as it's flying. Military does this with aerial refueling, but batteries, you can't just pipe the battery across the line. So the battery plane would deploy a tow line and hook onto the passenger plane to tow it through the skies. Once the battery plane is low on energy, it would disconnect and a new fully charged battery plane would replace it, repeating the process until it's time for the passenger plane to descend and land. Magpie says that this could drastically extend the range of an electric plane from around 300 miles untowed to over 1,200 miles by using a fleet of tow planes. Though obviously it requires more planes. Now the main difference between what's happening here and Magpie's design is that Magpie's tow plane would connect and disconnect in air using what they call an active hook system that autonomously navigates itself towards the front of the passenger plane. That's where we would like to sit as a business, is to work with partners to enable towing on their aircraft. Magpie said that they hope to start towing small planes around 2025, but the company told me that they believed there was no reason why, in the future, they couldn't tow a single aisle jetliner, like an Airbus A320 or a Boeing 737, as their technology would remain a relatively fixed size, no matter how big the plane. The physics of the problem actually gets slightly easier at that scale. But that's all in a hypothetical future. So, coming back down to Earth, where is the company today? Graceful. Well, Magpie told me that step one is to prove that this idea can actually work. Because if you think the idea of towing planes through the sky sounds a little bit far-fetched, well, so did Andy. We threw this idea in the trash bin several times before we started the company, but we kept coming back to it and saying, we can't actually prove that it won't work. We got to the point where we couldn't disprove it without actually going and trying it. To conduct those tests, the company bought some small planes and developed its prototype active hook. That's where we started. We've demonstrated the first aerial reconnections uh, that we're aware of uh, in, in March. But that's just a small tow plane connected to a glider. So what's it going to take for Magpie's tech to tow commercial passenger aircraft? Well, firstly, the company needs to prove that having two planes autonomously connected for hundreds of miles through varying atmospheric conditions can be safe. We're trying to prove out the, the technology in, in increasingly severe environments, right? Then Magpie will need to get its aero tow certified. But as the company doesn't have any plans to develop its own planes, just the towing mechanism, it will also need to find a willing electric aircraft manufacturer to partner with. And right now, electric planes are yet to take off in a big way. Even if and when they do take off, there's still questions around the economics of towing, as each towed flight will require a network of multiple tow planes with crew distributed around the country. But unlike those aviation startups that are making a plane from scratch, the one thing that Magpie might not need is millions of dollars in investment. The nice thing about you know, our core technology is it's not very capital intensive as compared to a clean sheet type certificate for a new electric aircraft. So for Magpie Aviation's aero towing to become a reality, the company is going to have to receive certification, work closely with an electric plane manufacturer, wait for electric flight to finally arrive, and even after all that, they'll need to convince aircraft manufacturers and passengers that aero towing can be a safe and economical way to get from A to B. If all that happens, then there is a chance that aero towing could be used to extend the range of electric planes. And if it does, there could be one advantage to passengers. Without the engines roaring, it's lovely and peaceful up there.